Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about C++ reading and writing binary file. A binary file is a file stored in binary format. A binary file is computer readable but not human readable. In contrast, a text file is stored in ASCII format and is human readable. Lesson. I will demonstrate how to read or write a binary file using C++. Okay, so let's begin uh, showing you how to read and write binary file in C++. So first off, I'm going to declare the directive. Okay, I will stream for standard input output string f stream for reading and writing binary file include vector for creating our uh, array using namespace standard then for our binary file we have a uh, structure so it's going to be structure a person and in the structure I'm going to have um, age I'm going, to, I'm going to have first name I'm going to have last name I'm going to have the phone number okay then I'm going to declare a binary data class so in my in the private section of the class I'm going to uh, declare the same uh, four attribute okay and in the public section of the class I'm going to have my constructor I call ctor binary data my destructor tilde binary data Okay, and I'm going to create a couple um, functions here. The first one, it allows me to set the data. So set data, and I'm going to pass an age, first name, last name, phone. Oops, and I forgot my data type. Okay, and I'm going to use the sprintf function to convert this. So this age percent s age, and then I'll do the rest uh, for the other uh, four variables, three variables. Okay, so. This is going to be percent %d, sorry, and then percent %a um, first, and it's going to be first dot c string. So I'm going to convert that as three to a c string. Last, so last dot c string. Nope, oh, should be string first, string last. Okay, so that would complete our set data function. Then I need to create a function to write um, to uh, to save the uh, the output stream. So I'm going to do void save off stream and percent off then I will do off write char star the address of h size of h ok 
Okay. I'll go ahead and repeat this for the other three variables. And it's going to be uh, first, first, uh, last, last name, then foam, the address of foam, and size of foam. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and create another function which is going to call, call save. So void write binary file. And I'm going to pass in the file name. Then I'm going to open up with the offstream uh, object and fs open the file the mode is going to be output iOS binary then iOS app okay this is for a pen and then um, making sure that the file has been open if not return an error okay so if you cannot open the file we do a C out cannot open file Okay. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and write uh, the file. So we're gonna do this, save, and fs, which is our uh, offstream um, object. Okay. So that completes our. Uh, actually, we need to close that stream once we we save, right? So we do fs close. Okay. So that would complete the uh, right binary file, okay? And then we need another um, function. It's called uh, read binary file, and we need to pass in the uh, file name. And um, in the read binary file, um, we need to declare person instead of the person structure okay so we call person p okay then next we need to declare uh, if stream uh, binary file okay then we need to know the size of our stream so we, I say size equal to zero for now um, I'm gonna go ahead and open the file Okay, open file, open, and then the mode is going to be iOS uh, in iOS binary. Okay, um, and then the, the next thing I need to do is I need to do a CG to find the position. So I'm going to do binary file seek G. Okay. 0 to iOS uh, end. So I'm going to read the uh, the file from beginning to end. So seekg is sets the position of the next character to extract from the input stream. Okay. Then um, I need to know the size of the whole file, binary file. So size equal cast binary file and we need to do a tell g okay uh, the tell g function um, it's gonna basically go through and uh, tell me what the size of the binary file okay and then um, I gotta go seek back to the beginning of the file okay so I, I need to set the position to the beginning of the binary file so I need to do binary file seek g0 and then iOS beginning okay then um, I need a use of while loop to read 
the entire in, uh, the uh, binary file. So tau g is less than size. Okay, if it's less than size, then read um, uh, read basically the data structure. So binary file read char star okay you know cast that um, p h then size of p h okay and I need to do uh, for the other three uh, attribute that I declare in the structure so so it's going to be age first, right? First, last, last, and foam. Okay. And uh, once they're able to read uh, the data for each of these uh, attributes of the person, right? Then I'm going to do a C out. C out um, P H tap P first P last tap then P foam end line. And then once I'm able to completely read the file, I need to close that stream. So I need to do a binary file close. Okay. So that completes the function for read binary file. Okay. So let's jump into our main function. In the main function, I need to declare a couple of um, variable. So it's going to be string first, string last, string foam, right? Then my and then the h. I'm going to create a unique pointer that points to binary data class, and I call it bd new binary data. Okay, so the reason why we need to use unique pointer is that uh, we don't need to call delete and to manually delete the data from memory. Okay, so um, then I'm going to ask the user for the age. So we do a cn age. Okay, c out, enter. Uh, first name and then uh, first see out enter last name see in last see out enter phone number see in phone okay then um, we need to set this data. So we need to call BD set data. We pass in age, first name, last name, then phone number. Okay? Then we need to call write binary, write binary file, and then we pass in the uh, binary file name. So in this case, we're going to call it uh, record dot dat. Okay. Then after we finish writing to binary file, we also need to read it back. So read binary file and pass in record dot dat. Okay. So that's the end of the program. Let's save this compile the code and we got an error again okay so where's that error at 
Oh, okay, let's go back to the sprint um, F method here. Yes, and this should be percent. Oh, this shouldn't percent. Okay, got it. This should be foam. And this should say this foam. Okay, recompile the code. Okay, let's open a terminal. And execute the program. So we're going to enter H. Let's say H is 20. First name is Joe. Last name is Smith. Phone number. Let's say 123 dash uh, 456 zero, uh, 0678. Okay, so and when it reads it out again, it say H20 Joe Smith 123456. 0678. Okay, let's try again. Second time. Let's say uh, age of 35. Don Johnson. A uh, phone number is 888-789-9999. Okay, and you get Don Johnson, age 35, and then the number. Okay. And let's try again the third time. Uh, 47 uh, James Bond. Phone number is 357 334567. And you get James Bond, the age, and the phone number. Okay? So that's a quick tutorial on how to write and read binary file. And if you like uh, uh, this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.